Have you ever struggled to keep all your characters consistent in a story? If the answer is yes, then this video is for you. In the previous video, I showed you how to create consistent characters using ChatGPT, which works well for stories with just one character. But when your story requires more characters, like when there are two or more, we need to change our approach. And that's what I'll be sharing in today's video. Let's dive in. When creating a story with multiple characters, maintaining consistency in appearance and personality for each character is crucial. Imagine a character appearing in one scene with a blue t-shirt and then suddenly wearing a black shirt in the next scene without explanation. This can disrupt the flow of the story and confuse the audience. That's why keeping your characters consistent from start to finish is so important. In the next part, I'll show you how to ensure that every detail about your characters, from appearance to key traits, remains consistent. And the tool we are using today is ChatGPT, a very popular AI tool. After logging into ChatGPT, go to the Explore GPT section on the left sidebar, then type Consistent Character in the search bar. Look for the second model, which is called Consistent Image Storyteller, Multiple Characters, and select it. This model will help ensure that all characters in your story remain consistent throughout. Just click on Start Chat and we'll dive right into creating detailed character profiles that ChatGPT can remember and use effectively. From here, I'll guide you through how to input character descriptions step by step. Let's start by defining the basic details for each character, such as their gender, name, age, country and outfit, so that we can maintain consistency across different scenes and interactions. Providing detailed character descriptions is crucial to ensure ChatGPT can recreate the same characters every time you use it. If you haven't watched my previous video, where I explain how to write specific character descriptions, feel free to go back and check it out for more details. In my story, there are two characters. Using the syntax from the previous video, here's how I describe them. Shuka is a five-year-old Brazilian girl with long curly brown hair that reaches her hips. She is dressed in a knee-length soft pink cotton dress with short sleeves, paired with smooth white leather shoes. Muka is a six-year-old Brazilian boy with short curly brown hair. He is dressed in a soft blue cotton t-shirt and knee-length denim jeans, paired with smooth white sneakers. After having the descriptions of the two characters, I fill in the prompt box and click send. And here is the result after we entered the description for the two characters, Zhuka and Muka. As you can see, the image not only accurately reflects details like hair color and outfits that we described, but it also carries a 3D realistic style. This makes the characters look very lifelike, more like real images than animated ones. However, if your goal is a 3D animated style, we can adjust the description slightly. To change the character's style to 3D animation, I edited the description by clicking Edit Prompt and adding the phrase Style 3D Animated at the end of the description. Then I clicked Send to apply the changes. Now the characters Shuka and Muka have a 3D animated style looking cuter and more lively. The bright colors and cheerful expressions perfectly match the story's atmosphere. This code serves to convey the necessary information to DALI to create the image as requested. You don't need to worry about it, just focus on adjusting the description to achieve the desired results. In the next step, I'll show you how to ensure these characters remain consistent throughout the story. To depict actions, poses, or expressions for these characters, it's simple. You just need to mention the character's name followed by the action, pose, or expression you want them to perform. For example, to create a scene where Shuka and Muka are walking in the garden, you simply type, Shuka and Muka are walking in the garden. As you can see, both characters maintain the appearance details we established earlier. Shuka with her long curly hair and pink dress. 
Muka with his blue t-shirt and jeans, all accurately represented. Except now they are walking in the garden. And now I will switch to a 16.9 aspect ratio by editing the prompt. And I got the image I wanted. Here, I've just shown you one example to illustrate the concept. Feel free to experiment with different actions and situations to explore further. I'm sure you'll be amazed at how ChatGPT can keep your characters consistent and vibrant in every scenario. Thanks for watching today's video. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on other exciting tutorials. If you have any questions or ideas, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And remember to hit the notification bell to stay updated with my latest videos. See you in the next one.